That was the nearly $800 billion from 2020's Paycheck Protection Program well spent. It's a question that many have been asking for two years now, and a new economic paper may have found an answer. Brian Sullivan joins us with a new study from an MIT professor in the St. Louis Fed. Hey, Brian. Joe, you may have heard of MIT, and you might also remember 2020's PPP loan program. If you do not, here's the numbers. It was all in 11.5 million loans, 793 billion borrowed, and only 714 billion or 714 billion forgiven. All right, so why are we revisiting this now? This is old news, right? Well, not really. A new paper in the Journal of Economic Perspective and a blog post by the St. Louis Fed saying much of that money was likely, well, wasted. They did say that while it did help keep some jobs, the cost was high and the program was, quote, not well targeted. St. Louis Fed highlighting key parts of the paper. It's very long, by the way. St. Louis Fed suggesting only 25% of the nearly $800 billion went to jobs that would have gone away otherwise. And the jobs saved guys cost about $169,000 to $259,000 each. That's against an average income of $58,000. The paper also found that most of the money went to the business owners, suppliers, and banks and not to the rank and file workers. In fact, the study looked at incomes of business owners and bank execs and found that 72% of the PPP money was captured by households with incomes in the top 20%. By the way, the federal government and ProPublica both have searchable databases on every single small business that participate in the program. I went down the rabbit hole last night, guys, pretty eye-opening, because many industries that ultimately boomed during the pandemic, you just talked about it, Joe, a few minutes ago, Car sales, real estate agents, fast food owners, they got big government payouts with almost none being paid back. Now, it's likely not their fault, not blaming the businesses. The government effectively making these grants and not loans with criteria so easy to meet, you just basically had to breathe to pay it back. A study found that 94% of the PPP loans had applied for forgiveness and pretty much all of them were approved for forgiveness. By the way, these grants were not considered taxable income in most cases. In fact, it may be even worse because the study found that since you could pay deductible expenses with the PPP money, some recipients, Joe, had a negative tax rate on the money they got. Why should taxpayers care about this old news? Well, $714 billion is more than the federal government spends every year on education, social services, and veterans care combined. And you divide that money spent by the number of households in America, that's about a $5,500 tax bill per household, ultimately, from this money. It's not revisionist history. It's a new paper, but kind of confirms what a lot of people were talking about at the time, Joe.